Okay, for exit slip 3-8, our I can't statement deals with understanding percents a little bit better, and we're supposed to be able to uh, represent percents uh, by shading squares in a grid. So we're going to look at really basic, uh, the understanding of percents here. Percents are based out of 100, so everything we're going to look at today is with the hundreds grid and try to understand percents based, that are, they are based out of 100. So we're just going to, there are a lot of answers here, and we're just going to shade some things in to show that we understand uh, some things here. Uh, we want to shade more than 10 one hundredths, uh, and we know that's 10% because percents are based out of 100. Shade more than 10% or 10 hundredths and less than 30% of the grid. And we want to write this as a decimal and percent and, and see that they're the same thing here. All right, so in this case, I'm just going to go halfway in between. Somewhere between 10 and 30 would be 20 uh, hundredths. So I'm going to shade 20 hundredths. I'm going to go over here, and every one of these is 1 one hundredth, because this is a hundred square. So there's 1 one hundredth, 2, and so forth. If I shade a whole row, I know I could call that 1 tenth, because there's 10 equal rows, but that's also 10 hundredths, because I've got 10 shaded out of 100. So I'm going to do another 10, and in this case, that would be 20 hundredths, or 20 out of 100, and that's what percents are based out of 100. So how do I write 20 hundredths? Okay, I could write... 0 0.20, that's pronounced 20 hundredths. I also know I don't need the zero there, so I could also have just two tenths, because there's one tenth, two tenth. We know those are the same thing. So either of those could be correct uh, for a decimal. And the percent then, we know percents, if it's based out of 100, 20 hundredths, well, that's just 20%, because percents are based out of a hundred. So we can see that 0.20 is the same as 20%. Uh, because it's pronounced 20 hundredths, and percents are based out of 100. So again, make sure you're copying it down here. You wouldn't have to have 20 hundredths. You could have shaded 15, 14, 13, anything that falls between 10 and 30. So there are lots of answers you could have there uh, when you did this yesterday to make this uh, make sense and answer the question. Again, so there's 20%. Again, that's way less than half. We know half is 50%, so less than half of that is shaded. Again, just making sure things make sense. So, so make sure you get these copied. Uh, I'll pause it if we need to. And then we'll take a look at another one here. Let's erase what we've got. Uh, number two, again, similar problem. This time, um, we're going to shade more than 70 hundredths and less than 90 hundredths. Again, anything between 70 and 90 I can pick. Again, I'm going to go right in the middle and go 80. Uh, percent or 80 hundredths and this time I'll shade this way you could shade any way you wanted but there's 10 hundredths 20 hundredths 30 40 50 should be half 60 70 and then 80 so I could write that as 80 hundredths or remember we can look at that as 8 tenths because there's 10 rows and I've shaded 8 of them same thing and then as a percent, I've got 80% of this thing shaded. Not all of it. All of it would be 100%, but I'm getting pretty close to 100% when I get to 80%. Uh, again, so there's an example. Uh, same thing down below. If we're going to shade between 35 and 55% uh, percent of the grid, uh, I'm going to go halfway between. I'm going to go 45 hundredths. So there's 10 hundredths, 20 hundredths, 30 out of 100, 40 out of 100, then 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So there's 45 hundredths. I would write that 0 0.45, 45 hundredths. Uh, and then the percent uh, would be 45% because we know percents are based out of 100. So whenever we have a hundreds grid, um, whatever I'm shaded is my answer and my percent. I shaded 45 of those things. That's 45%. Works really well when it's based out of 100. It's very, very simple. Uh, it gets more difficult when situations are not based out of 100, uh, and we'll dive into that a little bit more in future lessons. So make sure you've got these things copied down.